Well, okay. now that Ohio kidnapper Ariel Castro has been sentenced for kidnapping, assaulting, and raping three women, questions still remain about how he was able to keep them captive for so long. He terrified them so much so the day they were rescued, two of them were even afraid to come out with cops in the house. Patrick, let's talk a little bit about this. Um, the conditions inside the house, uh, Stockholm Syndrome, we're seeing a little bit of that too. Well, ultimately what he really did, he succeeded in putting fear into these women, so he created this barrier, which is a physical and mental bond and barrier, meaning they can't step out, not out of the physical house, they can't step away from him. Time after time, research shows that an intense emotional experience between two people creates a bond, because what right. it does in the body, it creates a physiological arousal that then becomes confused for, for a bond and even for a form of, and I know you're not gonna like to hear this word, but also a form of love. So that means the captor not only sympathizes with this person, but the captor depends on this person for physical survival. And this is gonna go on for years. I don't think they're gonna just get over this quickly. Not easily, and of course, it's great that they come out and they're writing their diaries and they're saying, look, we're, we're tough, we can, we can succeed, we can conquer this. But inside, there's still a deep attachment to this man, and there's this huge conflict. All right, thanks, Patrick. Well, don't go.